Hey guys, I'm Jackie and welcome back to Jackie Naturals. I hope you all are having an awesome day. So I am super excited for this video because I am doing my very first tag video. Yes, my girl Gavin Glam on YouTube tagged me to do this tag. I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, well, she challenged me to do this tag. So I said, you know what? Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. And I'm like super excited. Um, so this is the makeup addiction tag. And like I said, I was tagged by Gavin Glam and she is amazing. She posts YouTube videos on the most gorgeous, bright, vibrant eye looks. Guys, I love her eye looks. When I say her eye looks are on point, her eye looks are goals. Like, it is amazing. She does the best. If you don't believe me, go look at her channel. Just look at her thumbnails. I mean, they're amazing. She's awesome. So she tagged me and I definitely wanted to do this challenge and this tag. So I decided, yes, I'm gonna do it. Now, just to give credit where credit's due, the tag was originated by Tracy Leah Beauty. And I'll link her channel below just in case I'm saying it wrong. But I have like my makeup in front of me because the way that Gavin Glam did it, I mean, she's gorgeous. She does makeup tutorials all the time. I don't, and I didn't have time. And as you can see, my makeup's already done. This is the end of the day. I just got home from work and I just wanted to film this for you guys. So I'm not gonna be putting on makeup, but I have some stuff to show you guys. So it's gonna be kind of a show and tell too while I answer the questions on some of the questions. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoy this, but let's stop talking and let's get into this video, guys. I am so excited. Okay, so I did look at the questions so I have some of the answers because I had to count stuff. But other than that, this is going to be my raw, pretty much an uncut. I did see her video, of course, and I thought about it, but I haven't been like, I didn't write down the answers. So this is raw and uncut, okay? <laughs> Unscripted. So, hey, excuse me if I mess up a bit, okay? <laughs> so, the first question is, how long have I been addicted to makeup? Well, I actually started wearing makeup back in... 2011 when I was pregnant with my son if you guys don't know I do have a son he is seven years old that is my baby RJ he comes on the channel all the time but I started doing it when I was pregnant with him only because I don't know why I felt this way but I did gain quite a bit of weight guys I started out at this is TMI but 175 pounds when I was found out I was pregnant with him and I actually had him at 235 pounds. I had never been that heavy in my whole entire life. I'm only five, five and a half. So that was really heavy for me. And it was just like crazy. So I started wearing eyeshadow throughout that process. And I just fell in love with it. I love how it transformed my look. Prior to that, I did wear like lip liner and stuff like that. You know how back in the day, and I'm gonna insert a picture because I found a picture so we can make this a little fun. I found a picture, guys, and I printed it. Um, and I actually, I looked on my old Facebook or whatever, and I found one from, this was June 2012. So this was after I had been doing it for a while. RJ was already was two months old, and I was still doing it. So this picture looked a little better than how it was when it first started. But this was right after, two months after I had RJ. So two months postpartum, my eyebrows were super like thin. I had just kind of, sort of, that was a special occasion. That was Father's Day. So I kind of did my lower lash line, which at that point I never did my lower lash line except for special occasions. Um, I only stuck to the top. Again, I was new to the whole thing. So I did um, love wearing eyeshadow. I loved it so much, so much. But I had no interest at that point of going any further. Guys, I was that girl who was like, Who's waking up two hours early to put on makeup? Not me. And now I am definitely that girl, okay? I do full beat, full glam to work. Um, and I love it though, I love it. But we're gonna get into that a little bit more. But I did start, so it was about eight years ago I started wearing only eyeshadows. That leads me into question number two and I think you will already know the answer. But what is a makeup item you're most addicted to buying? Well, I have to say this, here's the caveat. I actually don't really buy, well, let me answer the question first. Let's move it back. <laughs> I love the most eyeshadow, of course. Like I said, I started out with eyeshadow. 
that's my thing guys i love eyeshadow this eye look came up pretty today too i'm gonna tell you guys later what i have on my face too in case you're wondering so i'm not gonna leave y'all hanging because this is a makeup tag so it's only right um but um eyeshadows are my favorite however i did not normally buy them and i had when i first started with eyeshadow eight years ago i started out with this one palette so if you guys ever hear me rant and rave about morphe it's because that was my first love this morphe palette and guys please tell me why i still have it after eight years the top is literally broken off <laughs> still got the plastic though somehow this is the palette here this was my bay okay and i'm yeah it was bay i had this palette i used only this palette i loved this palette now i started out with subscription boxes maybe about 2016 i think it was when i started that and i started getting more and building up my collection but really and truly, this is the only palette I can honestly remember buying, which is absolutely absurd to me. Um, yeah, that's really weird. When I was looking at this to answer that question, I was like, wait, what? I, I couldn't think of any others that I actually bought. But this is the only one, I, I still have it. I love this palette, but December of last year, and if you guys follow me, you know what I'm talking about. My amazing sister-in-law surprised me and bought me this bad boy, the Morphe Times James Charles. And again, you guys know I love Morphe. So I have been using this palette. This is now my ride or die. I think I have used pretty much every color in this palette. And I love it. Yeah. I go to it every day. Um, I've been trying to ease out of it because I have so many others I need to get to. But this is definitely the one that I, I tend to go to every day now. So I love this palette. This has been my replacement for my major one. So pretty much I use other palettes, but I typically always go back to this to kind of compliment them or add something. I didn't do that today. I'm trying to stop doing that. I need to use all these other palettes I have. So that leads me to number three. How many of your favorite items do you have? Guys, when I went to count this, I'm like, oh my God, this is gonna take forever. I gotta count all these. It's gonna be a lot. But guys, when I counted it, I was a little shocked. <laughs> it's funny because if you guys don't know, I just did a huge shop hush haul. That's why all those are kind of like in plastic, most of them. I did a huge shop hush haul where I ordered 17 eyeshadow palettes. So that's what like a lot of these are from shop hush, the bad habit palettes. But including all the rest that I have upstairs, because this is not all of it, I couldn't bring it all down. I have 41 eyeshadow palettes. Like I said, I was really shocked, because like I said, I just bought these 17, so I haven't hardly have any before. You would think for someone who really loves eyeshadow, like I would have a bunch, but I don't. But that's all good. I'm like, I thought really, I'm like thinking to myself now, like why am I on a no buy again? But I know why I'm on a no buy. We're gonna get to that, okay? <laughs> so, um yes i do love my eyeshadow i did give my niece quite a few though when i got them in subscription boxes prior to starting youtube if i did not like them or they weren't for me my niece is a makeup artist so i did actually give them to her so that is why i don't have as many so if you're wondering why that's why i think about it i have that little box upstairs that i did not count in this count and it has all these old school eyeshadow palettes and stuff that I haven't used in like decades and I feel like going upstairs to get it. And you know what guys, I am gonna go get it. Totally forgot I had this until just when I just spoke about it, filming. I have these. So I did kind of lie a little bit. I do have a more eyeshadow palettes and I did actually buy these. I do remember buying these. So we were at 41. I'm gonna continue counting. But look, they were like a dollar. Like I did not spend much, I had that Morphe palette and that was more than enough. I just bought these because I like the colors. Yes, I did used to buy these. I used to love these little quads from Maybelline. God, I forgot about that. I need to put that back in my collection, so I'm gonna move this over. Um, some of this stuff I think I'm probably gonna pass over to my niece. And these, I love too. These little Modessa um, palettes, as you can see, I did use them up. Some are like hitting pan, I don't know if you could tell. Let me try to open it. God, these are so old. Like see the pan in it so i really did like these these were really really nice this one is so bad i had to put a bow around it because it was coming off but if you guys don't know blue is my favorite color so you can see the pan in that one <laughs> but this will make a mess if i open it so it really has to go in the garbage and look my hands are all dirty but okay so 42 43 44 45 46 
47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So, I'm, I stand corrected. I have 52 eyeshadow palettes. I did not include my single shadows. That's just including the eyeshadow palettes. So, next, do I buy makeup just to buy it? Absolutely, sort of not. <laughs> I don't really buy makeup except like stuff that, oh gosh, I can't even say that. I don't buy it just to buy it. I buy it because I see like a YouTuber, I follow a lot of YouTubers and I support, of course, those who support me and others. So I see them using stuff and it looks really good. Um, and then I'll go out and buy it. And my problem is, is I don't like paying shipping. So I will buy multiple. So I don't have to pay shipping or just because I want to back up if I really like it. And I just go crazy with that. So that's why I actually place myself on a no buy. I have multiple on multiple on multiple things and different ones that I have to use. I just have to, it's out of hand. Like it, I mean, I'm blessed. I love that I have so much makeup, but it can be overwhelming. Okay. So I'm like, no, I can't buy except if something is done or nearly, nearly done. So I don't want to run out and I can repurchase. That's it. I'm not doing this buy extra, buy backups. Cause then sometimes you want to switch up your products. I've noticed. So why are you buying so many? So I do not do that anymore. So I don't really buy a makeup just to buy it. I only buy it like when I see a product that I think I'm really gonna like it, but just to buy it, ooh, I see that. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go buy it, no. I have been wanting, if you guys don't know, I follow a lot of YouTubers again, and I see all the new Fenty stuff, and I don't have one Fenty item. Can you believe that? I want that banana powder really bad, and I want that gloss bomb, I think it is. I want that really bad. But I'm not going to go out and buy and especially they're expensive. So I'm definitely not going to go out and buy those when I have so many. And I get a lot of lip products and stuff in my boxes. So I am having self-control. So that's what's going on there. Okay. So number five, do you look at an item and have the need or compulsion that you need to just one more to complete your collection? Absolutely not. Um, I don't feel like your makeup collection is ever complete. I know that sounds, I don't know, it kind of came across a little snobby when I said it, but I don't mean to sound that way, guys. I just feel like there's so much makeup and there's so much new stuff coming out. So it's like, you're never complete because there might be something better. And when I first started out, I never used high-end products. And I still kind of don't. The only thing that I really can say that I buy that's high-end that I've continued to repurchase over and over and over again is the Urban Decay All Nighter. That is the only item I have ever bought that I bought multiple and that's pricey. That's it. So I do love makeup, but no, one more will not complete my collection. I don't need a collection of everything. I don't do that at all. Like new releases come out, I don't go out and get them. It probably would help my channel, but I just don't want nor need any more makeup and I just can't. It's just getting out of control. I have so many subscription boxes too, which probably makes it a little bit worse. Maybe if I didn't have those, I could do that, but it's just so much makeup I already have coming in monthly that I just can't go out and impulse buy. I just can't, okay? <laughs> so, number six, do you have more than 10 mascaras and how many are open? Okay, so you know I get about five subscription boxes. I can't remember anymore, so many. I get Ipsy Plus, I get Boxy Charm, I get Fat Fit Fun. I get Play by Sephora and Allure Beauty Box. So yes, five subscription boxes. Now, I often get mascaras in them and I love mascaras. If you guys don't know, I do not wear falsies. So I do tend to layer mascara on mascara on mascara to try to get my eyelashes to pop. So, <laughs> so I do typically keep mascaras for myself and I do have, believe it or not, I cannot believe I had that many, but I have 24 mascaras. I was shocked. I was going to bring them down and I'm like, oh, that's too many. No, no, no. Can't do that. Okay. So 24. And the second part of that question is how many do you have open? And I actually did bring those down because it's going to be a show and tell. So I have four that's open. And if you guys watch my videos, you know, I got all of these in subscription boxes and it was probably try-ons and that's why they're all open because if I don't try them on, I don't use them right away. 
but this one is the Il Maquillage. It's the high volume and intense curl mascara. I do like this for um, curl and length, but I don't like it really so much for volume. But this is the wand here for it. So I do like it. I can also use these on my bottom lashes, although I don't like to. I have an Essence one that I use. Actually, sorry, I lied. I have five. The Essence one is upstairs. You have seen that in my videos before, and it's a green one. And I have that one too, because I use that one on my bottom lashes every single day. I did it again today. But then I have the Butter London Power Up Mascara, and that's this black one here. And then this is the wand. It's a really fat wand, so it's hard to do bottom lashes with this. But this one isn't so bad. Like I said, I'm just using it because I already have it open. Then I have the Pure Big Look um, with Argan Oil Mascara. And I just got this in, what was this, Ipsy? I think it was the Ipsy Plus. And this is the wand for this. I do like this one for length. I don't like it again for volume. I don't find many mascaras give me much volume. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. If you know of any good volumizing mascaras, let me know. I used to use a Maybelline volume one but i can't remember what it is but if you know of any good volume preferably drugstore because if you guys don't know me i really kind of don't like spending money on high-end mascaras and i'm gonna tell you why but the last one i have is the pixie by petra lash lift and it's like this two thing mascara so it has this one in there and it's kind of cool though it has this one in here so it comes with two the cap has two so this one is great for bottom lashes i do find though that this gets like a little flaky so this one is not my favorite. It's like, you know, when you take off your mascara and you have like little chunks of mascara everywhere, that happens with this one. So this one is not my favorite, but I had it open, I used it, so I've just been using it. Um, but like I said, I don't like to spend much on mascaras because once I'm done with them 24, along with the other five I got open, <laughs> I love this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. It's black as black, the number is 200. I do not like the waterproof one, except if I'm gonna get in the pool. That is the only time I use that waterproof one because it's a pain in the neck to come off. So I use the regular one. That waterproof one, guys, was a, it, it's just, it looks so pretty. It really does, it looks really nice. It wears very well, but to take it off. I do a whole routine. I wash my face, still doesn't come off. The oil stuff still doesn't come off. Makeup wipe still doesn't come off. Literally, I go to sleep with still mascara on my eyelashes, guys. It's so ridiculous. And I, like I said, don't wear falsies, so I have like a serum that I put on my eyes at night. It's a DIY, but I didn't create it, so I can't take credit. Um, I found it on YouTube, and it has like vitamin E and castor oil and stuff like that. I use it on my lashes every night. And literally, I'll have lashes and mascara coming out on that because of that waterproof mascara. So like I said, you want it to be much proof? definitely use it but other than that guys trust me don't don't do it to yourself it will not come off if you like your lashes and you want to keep them don't do it guys it's crazy how hard that is i'm literally the next day i wake up and i'm still taking off mascara oh my god normally though when i wash my face the next day it's all off so i can start off with a new coat but it takes literally till the next day i really love this mascara it is so awesome. It's tried and true, it's not led me astray. So I will be going back to that. This is $9.99. So I just can't bring myself to buy a super expensive mascara. Now I did try the Tarte Better Than Sex. At first I thought, eh, I don't see the hype. Although I use it a little bit longer and you know sometimes mascaras get a little bit better as they sit. They I really do like that. This really does compare. This is like, it really is a dupe for it. You could tell the packaging even looks the same. Um, Tarts just look a little bit better, but I do love this $9.99 versus I think that one is $24. I'm definitely gonna go $9.99, especially with how much money I spend, okay? <laughs> Number seven, do you ever throw makeup away? And by the way, guys, there's 14 questions if I didn't say that, so we're halfway done. I know I'm talking a lot, but I wanted to make this fun and entertaining. So, do I ever throw away makeup? No, I do not. Um, I think, however, caveat, there was one product that I had gotten that I hated. I think I tried it in a video and I literally threw it in the garbage. And I cannot for the life of me remember what the product is. I was actually, when I saw these questions and I watched Gavin Glam's video, I was thinking about it and I could not think of what it was. It was just that bad. I said, oh no, I wouldn't even give this to anybody. I wouldn't do that. But most other products, if I try it and I don't like it, I give it to my niece who's a makeup artist. Because I hate throwing away stuff. Uh, food, makeup, anything. I just hate throwing away stuff. You know, people don't have, so you gotta have gratitude for what you have. So I am not that throwaway type of girl. I would try to give it to somebody first, okay? 
um, and maybe it'll work for them because makeup works different on other people. And if they don't like it, they could do what they want with it. But at least the guilty conscience isn't on me that I threw it away. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that the next question, number eight, what is your oldest makeup item? I already said it. This was the first product I ever got. Um, not the first product necessarily because I was doing lip liners and stuff. And I think I did a little mascara and liner back in the day. But I don't really remember doing mascara and liner. I think I just wore lip liner and lip glosses and stuff. And with that picture, guys, you're going to see it's like that liner liner, like that dark liner and nothing's blended. You know how we used to do back in the day? Yeah, that's how I did it. <laughs> but um, so this is it. This is my oldest makeup item. It's about eight years old. Love it. I have not tried it. so I don't know if it's still any good. But it's funny because one of the colors came in this palette cracked. And I contacted the company and I don't remember where I bought it because I'm not sure if it was Morphe. I doubt I knew about Morphe back then, so I don't think it was. But it had that crack. I contacted the company, I think it was like on eBay. I contacted them, sent them pictures, and they sent me a new one, but told me I can keep this one. And I still have the new one upstairs too. Okay, brand new. So I don't know if that's still good. Let me know, guys. I never used it, so I'm wondering if it's still good. Let me know what y'all think. So it's this Morphe palette, but a brand new one um, upstairs. So let me know if I need to throw that away. I hate throwing stuff away. Maybe I could donate it. I don't know. Let me know, guys. I don't want to get anybody sick or hurt, you know, with expired makeup. So you tell me. Okay. So how often do you shop for makeup? Now, that's number nine. Okay. So I, <laughs> it's so hard for me to answer this because it's like not a set number. Right now, like I said, I am on a no buy. So I am only shopping when things are empty or close to empty so I don't run out. And it's only if it's something that I really love and I want to repurchase. That's it. So, but I do find that I do still get sucked in to those darn add-ons from Ipsy and FabFitFun. <laughs> but I also do it to do giveaways for you guys too. So I guess I'm not all bad, right? It's not all bad. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm trying to make excuses for it. But yeah, I do do some add-ons. If you guys watch my videos, I do do add-ons and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to keep that for me. But yeah, so I mean, I do get caught up there, but I kind of, I don't know why, but I don't count that as breaking my no-buy. I know I did, but I don't count it as breaking my no-buy. I don't know why. But I'm trying to get better with that too and not buy stuff that I don't need unless I'm planning on putting it in a giveaway. So I'm trying. Okay, so number 10 do you buy any product just for packaging that's an easy one no i am not a packaging type girl i don't care how the packaging really looks i care how it's gonna look on me so <laughs> packaging does nothing for me like fenty the packaging is on point i love her packaging it looks really nice that like diamond shaped thing like with the powders and stuff really pretty but I don't just buy stuff because it's pretty packaging. I'm just not gonna do that. That's just not what I do. And who's gonna see the packaging other than me? So I don't care about that. So I guess that's good. That's one good thing going for me. Okay, so number 11. Do you set an alarm when a new item is released? Okay, <laughs> yeah, this is funny. So when I saw that question, I had to start laughing because no, to that question, do you set an alarm when a new item is released? No, I do not, I never have. However, I have set an alarm when BoxyCharm upgraded to Boxy Lux. I literally woke up, I think it was seven o'clock on a Saturday morning to make sure I was up because I think it was, I'm not sure what it was, but it was a different time or something like that. I think it was seven, eight o'clock on a Saturday. I don't try to wake up that early. That's the one day I get to sleep in. Um, so I don't try to wake up early. However, I set my alarm for that one. I wanted to make sure I was one of the first people to get that boxy Lux, especially because they had that Tarte Prince Avenue palette that the bronzing and the highlighting and the contouring palette, which I use every single day. Okay, so it was well worth it. But to upgrade to boxy Lux, I set a time clock for that. There was one other time I did that, guys, and that was when BoxyCharm did their limited skincare box. <laughs> As you can see, I am a BoxyCharm fanatic. They have the best value, the best products. I feel like I would have never tried high-end products like I do now if it wasn't for those subscription boxes. I would not buy half this stuff you guys see me using, to be 100% honest. I actually feel like the drugstore has really great makeup, even the high-end do too but i just don't really splurge too much like i said the only thing i probably would ever continue to buy still is the urban decay 
all nighter. That's my holy grail. Uh, that's just it. It makes my makeup look good. I put this on makeup on at six o'clock this morning and it is 6 15 p.m so it's been over 12 hours and look at my makeup and all i did was blot and then i put a little rumble stay matte because i was like sweating and i was shiny um so i put a little bit of that but really blot that's all i did and reapplied my lipstick so i would still buy that but all this other stuff and the skincare i just got into guys i am guess how old i am put it down below before i say you would not believe how old I am, I think, hopefully. Shoot, I hope I didn't set myself up for that. But um, I am into skincare now. I noticed, guys, and I'm going to point it out. See the lines in my neck? Never had lines in my neck. I have them now. I do have fine lines under my eyes. I never had that. I feel like the hooding in my eyes, because you know they say when you get older, your eyes drop or your, your hoods drop. Yeah, I'm feeling that. So I have really got into skincare. I will say my mom was not into makeup or any of that when I was younger. So I had no one to show me the way. So I never used any of that stuff like eye creams and skincare stuff. I didn't get into that until I was in my 30s, which I am now. So I started really, really late. Sunscreen, none of that stuff. I didn't do all that okay. until I got in like in my 30s. So that was really bad. The only time I put on sunscreen is when I was going to the beach or the pool. That was it. Yeah, though, but I do love my boxy charm, guys. This was not supposed to be a promo for boxy charm, but I do love them. Uh, <laughs> and I should be getting my box soon. I can't wait to do a try on because like this is gonna be a good box this month. I'm excited. Okay. Anyway, let me stay on track. Okay. So number twelve. Do I have Ulta and Sephora apps on my phone? Another easy one. No, I do not. I actually like shopping at Walmart because, like I said, I like drugstore. I like Walmart. I like Target. To be big on eBay. Not so much now. I'm actually really into Amazon. I use my sister-in-law's Prime, and I order on Amazon all the time, and I get it in two days. So I don't have to wait. Um, and like I said, I like to pay shipping. So I love Amazon, and you get it in two days. Walmart, they have the two-day shipping. Now they have next-day shipping if you order by a certain time. So that's awesome. Um, so yeah, and Target has, I think, two-day or next-day shipping too. All of them have really quick shipping now, so I don't, I'm not a big Ulta and Sephora fan, so I don't have those apps on my phone. Number 13, do you have so much makeup that you purchase new makeup and forget what you have and purchase items again? I definitely have. Um, I hate to say that I do that, but I have the worst memory in the history, and my husband will vouch for that. He always tells me, oh my God, Jack, I just told you that. Or I told you that yesterday. And I'm like, no, you didn't. He's like, yes, I did. So, <laughs> so I do buy stuff not realizing that I have it or because I bought so many. Like, and then I'm like, oops, I bought another backup. Okay, I'll use it. I've done that with my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I use it all the time. Yeah, it happens to me. Yes, it does. I have the worst memory. So that is why I am on a no buy. Okay, it's for good reason, guys. Okay, so when you see me, my, my comments on your videos or whatever, and I'm like, yeah, I want to know, but I can't buy it. That's why. I'm getting out of hand. I was getting really, truly out of hand. Okay. So the last question, we are finally on the last question, but I hope I kept you guys very entertained for this long video. It wasn't supposed to be this long, but does your makeup make you happy? And I think this is the best question to end it with. Absolutely. Yes. Makeup makes me so, so happy. And it's funny because not the process of putting on the makeup, but how I feel I look with the makeup. It's crazy because I don't like to go out the house anymore without makeup, and that's bad. I don't like that part of it because I don't feel like I look pretty, and I hate that I feel that way. And I'm trying to get more comfortable in my skin, and I think YouTube has helped me to do that, but as I've gotten older, you know, stuff hangs and you got lines and you got this here and that here. So I actually don't like to go out without makeup. I typically do not leave the house unless I'm going to just my mom's or my sister-in-law's without makeup. But I am trying to get a little bit more comfortable and more confident because I feel like that's a confidence thing. So I don't like that makeup kind of makes me feel like I have to put on makeup so I can look pretty. But I, at the same time, I love that when I put on makeup, I feel pretty. And just to kind of tell you guys a little bit more about me, a little over 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with RA, which is rheumatoid arthritis. And that was prior to being with my son, of course, it was 10 years ago. And I ended up like on steroids and all kind of stuff. And that's why I was actually so heavy in the beginning of the, when I told you I was at 175 because I never weighed that much. I was on steroids prior to getting, when I found I was pregnant with him and my RA had gotten really bad. And I was like really down and depressed. I was 25 years old and got diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune disease. So that really had me really down and out. I was really kind of like 
going through like why me you know how that happens and I hate that it happens but I did go through that um, and it was just really hard and makeup when I found it just gave me an outlet although I will say that RJ is my miracle baby and he has helped my RA and I'm so grateful and I thank God every day for that um, but it really does make me feel like really good it does because I don't sleep well I'm tired I'm working two jobs I'm trying to keep up with everything and juggle life you guys know what that's like juggling life okay in general forget about anything else so it's like you feel tired you feel sluggish but I feel like when I beat this face you don't see none of that and you go to work and everybody's like oh my god you look so pretty oh my god I love your makeup it's like huh Thank you and you just feel better I mean you really do I hate to say that but you do so that's why when I see people and they look really nice I always tell them I'm one of those people would be like oh my god you look so pretty oh my god I like your makeup oh my god I like your dress I do that because I know how it makes me feel and I love to make people feel good I think that's what it's about life is really hard as it is you got to just uplift people and make everyone feel good it's just feel good it's just so much darkness in this world so you want to make everybody feel good okay so I love makeup and I'm not a makeup artist I'm still getting used to it I just started wearing foundation last year guys so I finally kind of got my color together some days I still look a little pale but I finally got my color together okay <laughs> I did not wear um, foundation till last year I used to wear powders because I got oily skin just to tame them but I used to look pale as I don't know what it used to be so hilarious that was just such a mess <laughs> um, but yes I'm finally understanding this makeup so I am no makeup artist but I love it I love the way it makes me feel I said that in my intro video and that still stands true makeup makes me feel really good it makes me feel pretty it makes me feel confident and you know us ladies we feel like oh I gotta lose an extra few pounds but you know what my makeup is popping <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys I am an idiot okay so those were all the questions for the makeup addiction tag I really truly hope you enjoyed it I really enjoyed making it it wasn't supposed to take this long no but I'm sorry I really enjoyed making this thank you so much Gavin Glam for tagging me I love your channel I love your eye looks they're absolutely outstanding um, I'm trying to copy you girl because I want my looks to look like that although I can't wear those to work but they are fly I love them I love I love I love her eye looks so go check her out she's linked down below but this was awesome I enjoyed this and I want to tag you so if you are watching this video right now and you are on YouTube and make videos and you do makeup videos no excuses you do it I want you to do this tag it's so much fun I didn't expect it to be this much fun but it really is now I I am tagging you all but I know there's a few people who always 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 watch my video and if I forget anybody I'm really sorry so this is kind of like my little shout out moment type situation and I'm challenging you to this tag so simply Tanika Dion Majesta color me vibrant Jay Shara Elena Jenkins, Jay Good, Diane Diaz, Sister Philly, A, it's Amanda, <laughs> Jaria Creates, Life and Beauty times Coco, Sharon C, Marilee Mary, Phoebe Rome, Mossy Robinson, She's Pretty Red, Home Life Love, and everyone else watching this video guys if i forgot anybody i am sorry don't kill me okay i love you all i really appreciate you all i was just going through my comment section i was looking at who really comments on my videos too and i wanted to just kind of shout them out i love all these channels they're really amazing and they show love so you guys check them out if you haven't um and please 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 i want to see your videos tag me on them so I can look at them because I want to see your videos, everybody. I love this tag. This is so fun. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys very soon. If you are new here and you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that red bell button so you're notified of any future videos. And I want to see you do this tag too. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, guys. So why did I just turn off the camera? And then I realized I forgot to tell you guys what I was wearing today. <laughs> After I said I have to tell you guys okay so on my lips I am wearing the AOA studio wonder metal liquid lipstick in the color Cosmo and I got this in my shop miss a and guys this was a dollar this is it here 
and I really like it. I got the Wonder Matte and I wasn't the biggest fan. It was a dark red color and it kept flaking in the inner portion of my mouth, the whole entire inner portion of my mouth. So I was a little disappointed, but this one I really like, and it might be because the color's a little lighter so you can't see it as much, but I really like this. And then on top of it, because you guys, lately I've been into toppers, so I decided to add this on top of it. And I added this all over the lips, and this is the MAC Extra Amps, and I think this is like the gloss that they have. So I added these two for the lips. And then on the eyes, for the transition color, I've been loving this, the pretty vulgar bronze mannequin. And this is it here. It's supposed to be a bronzer, but for my skin tone, I don't really think it bronzes anything. So I like to use it as an eyeshadow for my transition color. So it's gonna last me forever, forever, ever. <laughs> and the eyeshadow palette, I have been loving this, guys. I thought this thing was overrated, but I lied. Once again, I went to my Huda Beauty of Obsessions palette. And this is the colors here. And I swear I'm gonna hit pan on this color soon. I love that color on the inner portion. So just to tell you what I used, I use this color on the inner portion. I use this one right in the middle. I use this color and this color pretty much on the ends and to deepen it out. And I use this red color on right in this corner just to give it like a little pop of color and make it look like a little bit like an eyeliner type situation. And then I also use this on the inner portion of the bottom, this again on the middle inner portion, and this as well right there to blend it all together. So these are the two for my eye look today, and I will get a close up for you guys. And I decided to put on my accessories. I bought all those accessories and I don't even wear them. So give you guys a little, this was my dress for work today. So I'm gonna try to back up so I can get a little closer. Hey, what do you guys think? Okay, anyway, I'm stupid. So this is my eye look for today. And like I said, I'll put this on. It is now 6.31. I put this on at 6 a.m. So there you go, guys. That's my look for today. Anyway, for real this time, bye.